Oh, I want to discuss uh, this small program that I just made. Um, um, well, first of all, what it does. Let me tell you what it does. We have this website here, world.meters info coronavirus. And what we have here is a table with um, countries and we have the statistics of the coronavirus so what i wanted to do um just a simple app that will trigger a query actually do the same we do here it will just query a specific country and it will return uh, the whole row row with the values so I set it up in Sharp. This is how I made it. First thing, we have to install uh, this package HTML Agility, the Agility Pack. Um, you create an application called Console Application. You install the Agility Pack. You just have to go uh, on your uh, visual code you just have to go to the nugget package manager click on here that will bring you to this screen usually you will be here you just have to switch to the browser mode search for html agility pack install it right now from here it's already been installed then we head on to the program itself and right here, uh, you of course you have to start using it. Um, the class will be created automatically. Uh, the namespace is the name I chose for the program. At the moment, I I went here and create a new project. So my project is called uh, Corona Update. Um, this is the class generic automated class. And we have the static uh, void main, which is the entry of the program, all this here. And then we can go ahead and initialize HTML web, first of all. <coughs> Once we uh, initialize the HTML web, what we do, um, we load the contents of this URL into a document, HTML document type. Okay, great. Once it is done, um, the next step is to extract the nodes in which I am interested. In this case, I want to retrieve all the tier nodes, table rows, where inside somewhere inside of that row meaning in one of those tds in one of those cells i actually just a side note i used also postman requested on a get and go figure out how the structure of the table was made what i see here is um um, <clears throat> I could see that the, the, the ciphers, the numbers are enclosed in in the TD elements. Anyways, so once you figure out what, it, what do you want to extract, you just have to go here and extract all table rows where inside the inner HTML contains arc0. So arc0 is the argument that will, I will pass on a command line. So if I pass um, whatever here name of the country, it will cast uh, whatever it, it, it gets into an array. So it will cast that into an array. And then in a for each loop, I go about HTML node 
which is here, it is an array. I will go over each and every one of the items in the nodes. Okay. <clears throat> and I will write on a console the inner text, uh, meaning inner text in this extent is what is here. If I had chosen inner HTML, then I will be printing the whole TD from beginning to end. But since what I chose was the inner text, it will print uh, the contents. So um, it is hard to test it on a debug, debug mode because I have to pass an argument and I don't know how to do that in a debug mode. So what I did is I just I uh, built the application, I did a clean current update, uh, save and build solution, it's a release, now it's built, no errors at all, and now we can go on, I use um, git bash because I'm used for uh, to um, Linux and I like Linux commands, I can use Linux commands here. So what I have here is my Chrome update. I will run it and I will pass an argument. Let's say um, Germany. I don't have to type the whole world. If I just find, um, and there it is. It's showing me all the statistics, the contents of that uh, of Germany and I have to know that <clears throat> the correspondence of the rows I have to know that the first value corresponds to the total cases second one to the new ones third to the dead and so on and so on so that's how you make it that's how you use HTML agility pack. That's how you use uh, XPack expressions. That is how you cast a, uh, that's how you load an HTML document, remote HTML document without the need of using uh, REST, Sharp, for instance. And uh, you cast uh, directly the contents of this HTML document into um, into an array, finally, and present each and every one of those nodes on the command line.